Good morning. Good morning. And good morning. I hope all is well with you and your family. We are excited about this first day in a new month. Yes, it is December. It is December. We're getting close to celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ on December the 25th. But I hope we all celebrate it every day in some way, uh, fashion, acknowledging him uh, that he came to earth to save people from their sin. He came to save all. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And I'm so glad that it says whosoever. That means anyone can be saved. Thank you again for joining us today for our Bible study. It is a unique day. Amen. If you look at today's date, amen, I'm using... Uh, it's 12 1, 21. And if you go backwards, it's the same thing. 12 1, 21. Isn't that amazing? Oh, you're a part of history today. I just looked at that and I thank God for this, uh, seeing this mo uh, uh, this occasion uh, where, again, uh, frontwards and backwards, it's the same thing. 12 1, 21. God bless you. I want to say good morning, amen, to you who are all on us, and if you come in, I can see who you, who you are, and again, God bless you, uh, Trustee Who is checking in, God bless you, thank to have you, Miss Karen, God bless you, amen, from the Burt Patrick, all right, God bless you, uh, Miss Gloria Davis, good morning to you, good morning, Georgia Lindo, in the house, amen, my friend and brother, the Pastor Larry Black, God bless you, Glad to have you with us today. Amen and amen. Miss Janet Lindsay, good morning to you. And Trustee Paul, amen. God bless you. Sharon, good morning to you. Leach, and God bless you. And again, for others who are out there, thank you for joining us. If you could comment, amen, I can definitely see who you are. And again, we ask that if you can and will, uh, if you could share this Bible study as we uh, become electronic evangelists. Amen. Amen. I was getting the gospel out there. And again, I want to thank our executive producer. Amen. Miss Jackie Bridges and all this. Amen. Who are with us today to help us along this Bible study. Let's bow. Father, we thank you again for allowing us to experience a wonderful Thanksgiving season. And Father, we thank you for uh, the times we've had with our family and friends. And thank you, God, for seeing us through even in the midst of trials and tribulations, we were thankful. Even in the midst, God, of mishaps and misunderstandings, we were thankful. Father, even in the midst of triumphs, and some God had tragedy, but we still want to say thank you. And God, thank you to touch our ears today to hear, touch our minds to understand, touch our hearts to believe. For the Bible says, for uh, when the heart man believeth unto salvation. And, uh, and we thank you for that. We believe, God, who you are and what you are doing. God, I pray that you will bless the words of my mouth. Uh, I anoint this Bible study. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did you say amen? Mm, say it out loud. Amen. Say it loud. Huh? That's what James said. Amen. James Brown said, say it loud. I thank you so much. We're going to continue our study today on thankfulness. And again, I don't know how long this study will last, but uh, we want to go just a little bit farther as we again celebrate uh, Thanksgiving on this past week. And I pray you all had a wonderful time. I hope all of your, 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 your food is gone and some of you are already eating fourths and fifths. Amen. But y'all just keep on eating it till it's all gone. God bless you. Miss Drain, glad to have you with us. Amen. All the way in New York. And Miss Lula Watts Gregory. Hope you're doing well and recovering well. God bless you. Miss Peggy Mills is on the scene. God bless you. Uh, Mr. John Norris, God bless you. Miss Ernestine, I uh, thank you all for being here. May God bless you and your family in this time of sorrow. And again, and the loss of your sister, Miss 
uh, Willie Lee, amen, up in D.C. We're praying for you. Uh, Rex Edgerton, my friend and brother up in the Boston, Massachusetts area by way of the Gaffness, South Carolina. Thank you, sir, and thank you all. Marilyn McKenzie, what's up? My cubs and friend, I believe you have relocated. Amen. Welcome. Today we're going to start, amen, with uh, the book of Psalm. We're going to go to Psalm 107. Psalm 107 is our first stop today, amen, and this is uh, in the fifth uh, uh, part of the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms is, is, is com comprised of 150 psalms, or psalms, and in them it is divided up into five uh, uh, portions, or five divisions, or five books, some call it, in the book of Psalms, but we thank you. It parallels, amen, uh, uh, these uh, studies and some uh, are grouped this way about giving thanks. We're going to start with verse 1, amen. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Minnie Henderson. Good morning, Lisa Shippey. And Aunt Dorothy Petty is on the spot, amen. God bless you. And uh, Uncle Robert Petty, thank you all for being with us on the Bible. Starting boss coming down the street. Shuffle and the pages, come on, let's eat. Eat. Yeah, I said eat because you cannot live by bread alone. We got to study this word, eat of this goodness, amen, that it comes in, amen, to our ears, goes down, amen, through the canal, through past the eardrum, works round down through there, comes down and gets in our sound, in the in the, in, the, in our blood system and gets in our heart, amen. And it flows and causes us to do these things that we hear. The Bible said, "Don't only be a hearer, become a doer." And let this word dwell in you. That was in Christ Jesus is what He said. Let the word of God be hid in your heart, amen. That sounds like it's in the bloodstream, don't it? <laughs> that we might not sin against God. Good morning, Anthony Elmore, Marie McGill, and Mr. Anthony Wilson. Thank you so much. Here we go, Psalm 107, verse 1, talking about being thankful. It said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Yeah, it said, Oh, give thanks. You see, give is all capital letters in my Bible. And that's why giving has to become a major part of your life. Amen. A lot of times people give, they like to give. Uh, most people, when they give, they give they give stuff they don't want. <laughs> they call give it away. They give it away. They don't they don't want it. But but we have to learn how to give away things that 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 is is significant, that things are important to us, that things that have value, and 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 that means not only of your time, amen, because your time is valuable, amen. When God says so, your time is gonna stop. Amen. But give some of your time to the Lord. He said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. I pray that we are able to do that. I pray you are able to uh, share some time with the Lord. And again, we thank you for joining us. And I want to encourage you to share this message, this Bible study out there with our family and friends. Amen. And YouTube and, and those that are going to share it on Facebook. Amen. Let's get it out there. Good morning, Deaconess Blanton. Uh, glad to have you with us. And Deacon Blanton, we're definitely praying for your family also in this time of sorrow. Amen. Tariqa Rashford, thank you for being with us. And then it says in verse 2, we're just going to go a little bit farther. It says there in Psalm 107, verse 2, it said, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hmm. And then it says, Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. <laughs> huh? I hope that you can be thankful about that. Amen. I know, amen, I haven't always, amen, uh, been saved. I haven't always uh, been committed to living for the Lord. I haven't always, amen, been committed, amen, to teaching and preaching and trying to help others to grow. Amen. But I am so thankful. I, I did say thankful. Are you thankful? If you're thankful, can you put that on the screen that I am thankful? Amen. Good morning, Linda Faye Lou Hui. Good morning, Virgie Posey. What's up, cuz? Glad to have you with us. Amen. And also today, amen, we want to say good morning to Maker. 
Yeah, glad to have you with us. Now, notice what it said here. It said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. Again, it said, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, the devil will try, amen, to, to grab you. He'll try to ensnare you. He will try to entrap you. He will try, amen, to corner you. He will try to isolate you. He will try, amen, to crush you. He will try, amen, to make you uh, feel as if God doesn't care. He'll try to make you think your family doesn't care. He'll try to make you feel, amen, that if no, that you don't mean nothing to nobody. Amen. He'll try to make you think that sin is the way to live. He'll try to make you think, amen, that sin is the way to give. He'll try to make you think that sin, amen, is, is what the world, amen, needs. But today, I'm coming to tell you that the world needs Jesus. Huh? I see the I'm Thankful group out there in the Bible that has the 12 tribes of Israel. But as I look at this this morning, I see you, Earl. Good morning. Amen. It says, amen, I am thankful. You are part of the I am thankful tribe. <laughs> huh? Yes, you are. And I'm so happy because I'm, I'm a part of it too. I'm happy about it. Now, he said, uh, from the hand of the enemy. Yeah, and, and, and that means the devil and devilish people and devilish ways. Amen. The, the devil, he'll try to hold you. But, but when you tell him, amen, Satan, let me go. I'm turning my life over to Jesus, amen. And, and you talk to him and, and you say, get behind me, Satan. And you tell Satan, amen, you have no authority over my life. These temptations are not going to be successful anymore. God, deliver me. From the hand of the enemy. He'll do it. Amen. And then tell God to hold me. In your mighty hands. When God holds you in his mighty hands. You won't slip out. He won't lose his grip. Amen. He has a hole in his hand. How do you know? He has a hole in his hand. Jesus does. Because that's where they nailed him to the cross. But in that hole. That same hole. He showed Thomas. I know there's a hole in his hand. Because Thomas said, I won't believe until I see the holes in your hands and, 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 and see your side where they pierce you. And he said, Thomas, look at here. He showed Thomas his hands when he rose from the grave. And, and I'm so glad today that even though he has a hole in his hands, that nobody can slip down and slip through that hole and get out of God's hand. Amen. I believe what the devil did, he meant it for bad, but, but what he did is made his hands deep <laughs> so that we all, amen, could be in the mighty hand of the Lord. He said, all power is in my hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me in his hands. Oh, it sounds like a song to me. He's got the whole world in his hands. He has the whole wide world in his hands. He has the whole world in his hands. He has the whole world in his hands. Huh? He has the little bitty babies in his hands. How many know we were little at one time? He has the little bitty babies in his hand. He has the little bitty babies in his hand. He has the whole world. Did y'all hear what I said? Uh, he got you and me, no matter what city you in, what state you in. He has the whole world. Y'all don't have to give y'all a gospel ending. I just can end it plain. Huh? He has the whole world in his hand. Uh, that was for you, my brother and sister. And that's something to be thankful about, that he snatched us back from the hands of the devil. No, you cannot have her. She belongs to me. You cannot have him. Amen. He belongs to me. I, you cannot have them. You cannot have that family. They belongs to me. Amen. I want uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I want the grandchildren and the great grand. I want them all. And, and that's what I pray that you and uh, for your family and mine that everybody gets saved. God bless you. I see that I'm thankful group. Y'all got it going on in there. Teresa Fair. Amen. I see you there. Amen. Thank you, Ms. McCann. I know you can. I know you will. I know God is able. Ms. Cumberlander, thank you for joining us. Kimberly Cubase. 
Thank you for watching us, and I do believe you in Ohio. Thank you so much. Amen and amen. Mr. Ernestine said, I'm thankful. Amen. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. That's why uh, every once in a while you ought to say something. Hmm? You ought to say something every once in a while, occasionally. Amen. To let somebody know that you appreciate God. <laughs> huh? Amen. It's all right. That's why, again, I, I like to get in, 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 in Bible studies and, and worships and, and conferences and, and even... If I meet someone, I, sometimes I get them to repeat after me. Because sometimes when it comes through your voice, it shakes heaven. Huh? You can think about it, but, but when it comes from your voice, it means something. It, 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 it's, you might sound like somebody, but, but, but you have your own voice. And, and if you're able to talk, you ought to use your voice. Uh, death and life are in the power of the tongue. That's why the devil wants us to always talk negative and not pause a tear. <laughs> huh? That's why you got to learn how to say something. Hmm? Oh, Lord, you got to learn how to say something. Every, you don't have to say it all service long, but, but every once in a while you ought to say thank you without the pastor telling you to say it. Every once in a while you ought to say hallelujah without the worship leader having to have you to say it. Hmm? Just say it. Huh? Just when they're singing, say it. It, it. it registers to your life and, and to your situation. Say it. Huh? Don't you know that when you say it, amen, it does something. Faith come by hearing. Sometimes you need to hear yourself say it. Hmm? I believe that's why that little train was talking out loud when he was trying to make it up the hill. I think I think I can. Sometimes you got, you, you, sometimes you need to hear your own voice say it. Mama done said it. Daddy said it. Teachers told you. Coaches told you. Instructors told you. Band directors told you. Amen. Uh, leaders of your groups have told you. Sunday school teachers have told you. Family and friends have told you. Strangers have told you. But sometimes you have to tell yourself. David encouraged himself in the Lord when everybody was crying. David encouraged himself in the Lord when everybody else had their head down. David said, your head is down, but I'm going to lift my eyes to the hills because I know where my help come from. And I'm thankful that he redeemed me, amen, from the enemy. One scripture said he redeemed us, saved us from the snare of the fowler. The word fowl means bird, amen. The word fowler means a bird catcher. Amen. One who watches birds. And, and that's how the devil does. He'll set a trap for us and, and, and try to entrap us and so we can't fly. Hmm? God wants you to fly in your life. He wants you to do great things. He wants you to help people. He wants you to make a difference. Good morning, Miss Ross. How you doing? Amen. Miss Elizabeth Ross. How you doing? The boss. Brother James. Good morning. B. Rat in Cleveland, Ohio. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Amen. I'm excited. Now, note what he said. I'm, I'm about to go. Uh, verse 3. We got to talk about this. And gathered them. Psalm 107, verse 3. It said, and gathered them. Amen. It didn't say one. It said them. Who are them? Those are the ones that have been redeemed. He, 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 he gathered them out of the lands. Out of the lands. Some in the highlands. Some in the lowlands. Some in the mountains. Amen. Some in the valleys. Amen. Some in dark places. Some in light places. Some in places. Amen. Uninhabited by, uninhabited by mankind. Just out there in the world in the wilderness. Huh? Amen. Whatever your habit was, that was your land. Huh? Some people was in party land. Some was in drink land. Huh? Some was in steel land. Some was in rob land. <laughs> Whatever it is. Amen. That we did wrong. Amen. That's the land that we were in. Amen. Amen. I don't know where you come from, but I know where I come from. He brought me a mighty long way. How about you? And I'm thankful for that. Now notice he said, from the east and from the west, from the north and the south. And then made that correlates to the gates in the city of heaven. Three gates in the east, three gates in the north, uh, three gates in, 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 in the south, three gates in the west. 
Now, all that that represents, and have you ever been to a place with one gate? Have you ever been to a place with two or three gates? Now, one thing I found out that the more gates you have, that's the more people they anticipate coming. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. See, you're not the only one that's been saved from what you saved from. You're not the only one that's been reclaimed and redeemed. Amen. I am redeemed. I can hear Millie singing that now in the senior choir. Ball with a prize. Huh? That's the Jesus' blood. He, he bought us back with his blood. Huh? The price of his blood. He bought us. J Jesus has changed my whole life. Huh? He changed me. Did he change you? He specialized in change you. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. If anybody asks you, See, they'll begin to ask questions. What, what is he happy for? What, 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 what are they shouting about? What are you hollering about? What's she screaming about? What's she dancing in place about? Is she stepping on bugs? Or what? What's she doing? Stepping on ants? Is she stepping on scorpions? Just who I am. See, they might not understand why you can raise your hand and cry and still have a smile on your face. Huh? Tell them. See, that's let the, the redeemed of the Lord say so. Huh? Sometimes you got to tell folk, hey amen, I'm just saved. Huh? You got to tell them I've, I've been changed. You got to tell them, hey amen, I look the same on the outside, but, but on the inside I had a complete makeover. Hmm? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Like Cam Newton, I'm back. <laughs> wow. What a few minutes we just experienced, but we're still excited about Bible study. We are back on the Concord Baptist Church. I don't know what's happening out there in and in, 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 in uh, internet land, but we are back. Thank you so much for joining back with us. Uh, please press the share button, amen, so we can hopefully uh, reach out to those who were logged on earlier. And thank you so much for cooperating with us during this difficult time of, uh, of, of uh, technical difficulty, but thank you so much. Again, if you could press share and, and let them know we're back on, and we're going to pick up where we left off there a few moments ago. We're going to try to edit this, and I don't know how it's going to work. I don't think we may be able to put them together, but if not, we're going to continue with this Bible study on thankfulness, uh, being thankful, and uh, at Psalm 136, verse one amen psalm 136 verse one and uh we're gonna read that come on oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever amen amen he's good every day of my life yes i'll bless the lord he's good I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. Huh? <laughs> Have you ever heard that before? I will bless the Lord at all times. He's good. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to give thanks unto the Lord. And then uh, uh, um, verse 2. Amen. What what does the verse 2 say? Amen. Psalm 136. Amen. I'm trying to get there. Amen. Uh, 136 and verse 2 this is very important if you got to highlight I want you to highlight this and we're going to read this together loud as you can if you can press share out there we thankful and again we're having some some, some technical uh, difficulty but we're going to keep running on in Jesus name thank y'all for commenting thank you Miss McKenzie for being back with us Miss Sharon Leach and Brian Chapel. what's up bro glad to have you with us amen now, notice what he said, and for all those who joined us earlier, amen, if you could join on this link, amen, and um, um, come with us. At verse 2, Psalm 136, verse 2, come on. It says, O oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. Do y'all see that? I, I, oh, boy, I, I, hope, I hope we all right there. It says, for his mercy endureth forever. Now, notice what he said. Now, almost the entire... Uh, chapter of Psalm 136 
amen, has those same uh, uh, words in it. But I want to share with you a couple of things. And number one, I want to share with you that, oh, give thanks unto the God. You see that first God has a capital G. You see that? Capital G. That's, that's our God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven afar with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. He's the only God. Our God is the awesome God. Huh? He's the only one. You remember in the Bible where Elijah, amen, had a showdown with 450 false prophets. And then it said there was an additional 400 false prophets there. Amen. And he told them to call on who they were calling on, little g, as you will see, the God of gods. You see little g, that second one there, in Psalms 136 in verse 2. Little g, amen, means false gods. Amen. That means I I idols. That means false religions. Amen. Now people go through a rel all religions do not acknowledge Jesus as the Son of God. Amen. That's why it's so important. Amen. To recognize Him. He said, "In all thy ways acknowledge Me." Amen. And and He will direct thy path. That's what God said. Amen. A acknowledge him. And, and he said, if you believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. If you believe in, in God, you got to believe that Jesus is his son and that he sent his son, uh, Jesus, uh, to redeem us. Amen. And to save us from our sins. Huh? That's what we got to believe. Now, notice what he said. I will give thanks uh, uh, to God of gods. Yeah. He, he, he's the only one. And, and, and when Elijah called down that fire, he even made it more difficult by pouring barrels of water on the fire. On the sacrifice, rather. And to pour the barrels of water that went in the trench. And they did all they could do and nothing happened. Elijah told them to get out of the way, pour that water out there on his sacrifice and called on the name of the Lord. And fire came down from heaven. Amen. And, and dried up the water and took up the sacrifice in front of all of those false prophets, showing them and telling them and telling the whole world that there is only one God. And that's the one, amen, uh, we should awesome, uh, be in awe of and respect him. Amen. Fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that don't mean fear as in scare, but fear as in respect. And be in awe and, and acknowledge him and appreciate him. Yeah, for his mercy endure it forever. I hope you enjoyed that verse because it's very important to our growth. Amen. Now I want you to look at something else. If you return with me to Matthew 26. Amen. Matthew 26, verse 27. Matthew 26, verse 27. Thank you all for joining. And if you could share this Bible study, thank you. If you can comment, amen, please do. So I can see that this thing is working. We had a technical difficulty earlier, and it went out, but now we're back on, and I pray that you're with us, and I apologize for the difficulty, and but we're going on in Jesus' name. Matthew, amen, 26, verse 27. If you will turn over there. I want you to know that Matthew, amen, was a book, amen, written by Levi, amen, who was a tax collector, who was also called Matthew, Amen. What was the other name for uh, Matthew? I just told you what it was. Amen. If you can, put that on the screen. What is the other name for Matthew? Amen. In the Bible. Amen. This guy who wrote this book of Matthew. And what was his job? Amen. There. Um, in the Bible land. What was his job in the Bible land? Thank you so very much. We're so excited. Amen. For, amen, his goodness. And mercy, for his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm going to ask you. I don't see it yet. It's a major delay, I guess, on this end. But his name uh, was at the receipt of custom was uh, the tax collector. And his name was Levi. Amen. But it was also called Matthew. Amen. In the Bible. Amen. So what was Matthew's other name? And what was his profession? If you could put those answers out there for me. Amen. So we turn to Matthew 26. We want you to know that Jesus was getting ready to die. 
He was getting ready to leave this world. Amen. His time on earth was about to end. Amen. And he was talking to, thank you so much, Levi and tax collector. That is correct. Thank you so much. Amen. The first one I see on my screen with that answer. Amen. Miss Dorothy Petty. Amen. Thank you so much. And again, I, I know we're having some technical difficulty, but we're going on in Jesus' name. Amen. Mark, Matthew 26, verse 27. I want to share with you the importance of thanking God before we eat. The importance of thanking God before we eat. Amen. The importance of thanking God. Amen. Before uh, we partake of the Lord's Supper. Amen. The importance of thanking God before a, a meal for our earthly body and a meal for our spiritual body. Amen. It's good to give thanks. Amen. Lots of times the thanks is at the end. Amen. But I want you to know, start out being thankful. Can somebody put that on the screen? Start out being thankful. Be thankful for the start. Be, be thankful for the opportunity. Be thankful for, amen, uh, the progress. Be thankful. Amen. For the time that has been set aside. Amen. And don't just wait till the end of the program. Amen. I'm so glad uh, to have you here. That's why, uh, again, uh, we put out there, amen, uh, 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 welcome. Amen. That's thankful for your uh, arriving. Amen. Most of the time. And then at the end, thank you. Amen. For participating and staying with us. Amen. That's at the end. But I want you to know we need, need to give thanks. Always. Amen. The beginning, the middle, the end, and always in between for the great things the Lord has done. I want you to share something with you when Jesus was sharing with them the Lord's Supper. Amen. Amen. If you look at verse 27, amen, and then we're going to go back to verse 26. Thank you, Miss Annie Littlejohn, for joining us today all the way from uh, New York City. Amen. Thank you. Thankful. Yes, I can see your comments now, Miss Henderson and Miss Sharon and Miss McCann. Thank you all for commenting and uh, Concord Baptist Church. Thank you so much. Amen for commenting. Amen. Verse 27 says, Matthew 26 and 27, and he took the cup and gave thanks hmm, and gave it to them, saying, drink ye all of it. Isn't that amazing? He took the cup, he thanked God for it, and then he gave it to them. Amen. That's why in the Lord's Supper we do that same format. Amen. We pray, we ask God to forgive us and everything and thank him for everybody and for our sins. Amen. Both individually and collectively, which we may have made to, uh, sins together. Amen. As a church family, sometimes the church family can uh, make a wrong decision and not do it the way God said do. Amen. But then he said he, he got the cup and he gave thanks and then he gave it out. That's why we pray, amen, before the Lord's Supper, before it's given out. Amen. We're thankful. And notice in verse 26, I want you to read that for me. Everybody, ready and let's read. Come on, Tamika, if you're still with us. Ready and let's read. And as they were eating, amen, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it. So he blessed the Lord's Supper. They had already blessed their natural food, but now the Lord's Supper was about to be instituted. He blessed it, which also means he thanked God for it and to put a special blessing. He prayed about it. Amen. And that's what we have to do. Amen. And then and then he, he break it, which means he gave it out to those. Amen. And that's what happened. The, the wafers we get are already individualized. Amen. We give that out. And then... He gave it to the disciples. Hmm? And that's why it's given to the deacons and trustees and, and church leaders and preachers. And then it's given to the people. That's why the Lord's Supper format is the way it is. And I hope that's been a blessing for you. Thank you, Miss Fair. Glad to have you there. And Miss Tamika, I am here. Thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us. Amen. Here we go. We's rolling on. I want you to turn with us. We, time is ticking. We got a few more verses we want to look at about being thankful. Amen. If you will, go to uh, Psalm, uh, excuse me, 1 Corinthians, amen, chapter 15, amen, and verse uh, 57. Amen. We want to go there. 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, and verse 7. Amen. Thank you. Now, as we go flip over there, I want to ask you a question, and that question is, are you thankful? 
Huh? Are you thankful? Amen. Yes. Are you thankful? I am. And and we must let our children. We have to teach our children about being thankful. Huh? We have to teach our family and friends about being thankful, and especially those who may not know the Lord. You don't have to uh, always uh, shove it down their throat that you're thankful. But that every once in a while, let the Redeemer of the Lord say so, to let them know that we are thankful. Amen? Let them know that we are excited about being on the Lord's side. Psalm, excuse me, 1 Corinthians. Amen. Chapter 15. In verse 57. Are you there? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for coming in. Notice what it said there, verse 57. Come on, let's read it together. Everybody, I need everybody. Amen. And y'all can press share so that they'll know we're back on the air. Thank you so much. It says, but thanks be to God. Thanks be to who? To God. Thanks be to God. Huh? Thankful. Amen. Which giveth us the victory. Huh? He gave us the victory. He gave us the victory. Y'all see that? He said us. Amen. Us. That means for the believers. For the redeemed of the Lord. Those who are following Christ. Those who are pressing forward. Huh? I'm pressing on. Y'all remember that? The upward way. The upward way. That, that's God's way. Huh? New heights. I'm... Um, Gaining, going a little bit higher every day, every day, huh? still on what praying, still got to keep praying as we go up, as we're on what bound, huh? we're going to heaven one day, then they say, Lord, plant my feet on high, your ground, y'all remember that one, do huh? Oh, Lord, Lord, lift me up. Huh? Yeah, it's about being thankful. Huh? Thankful. I see y'all, some of y'all put it out there. Yeah, that I'm thankful. Good morning, Janine. Glad to have you on the scene. Huh? Thank you. Now, notice what it said. It said, thank me. The victory is through Jesus, through our Lord, Jesus Christ. That's who the victory is through. He give us the victory. He give us the victory. Yeah. Victory is mine. You got to say that when you uh, seem like you're losing. <laughs> Victory is mine. You got to say that while uh, you are at the back of the line. Huh? God bless you. Amen. Victory is mine. You got to believe that. You got to believe that. Huh? Victory is mine. Come on. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Today. You got to say it each and every day. Especially on the day that's not so good. Especially on the day that's challenging. Especially on the day where you've been crying. Especially on the day when you don't know the answer. Especially on the day when you don't know what the next uh, hour going to bring. You got to believe in faith that you already have the victory. Huh? You got to you got, you got to believe that. Huh? I told Satan to get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Hmm? You got the victory, my brother and sister. You got it. Be thankful about that. You're thankful. It's not always easy. Sometimes you got to go into overtime. Good Lord of mine. <laughs> Sometimes you, 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 we're just thankful enough to get into overtime. That means the game not over. That means the situation not over yet. Huh? Some kind of way, amen, you might have had a, a lead early, and now it seems like you done lost your advantage. But you're going to win in the overtime. Huh? <laughs> See, that's how it was with Jesus. Jesus won in the overtime. <laughs> huh? <laughs> See, his days was up. And then three more days came by, and he said, I'm going to be raised the third day. And then he went from third day to eternity. <laughs> you, you're going to win your overtime. You got to win it. You got to win the battle. The battle of your heart, the battle of your mind, the battle of your commitment, the battle of your service, the battle of your vocabulary. <laughs> your vocabulary, our vocabulary has to be positive and, and scripture-based. Uh, 
so that we can say those things, amen, that Jesus said and get the results that Jesus got. Huh? I guarantee you, be thankful about that. I'm glad if the word is written. I'm glad the word is spoken. And I'm glad the word became flesh. That's how we know what God uh, uh, will do for us. We got to get out of here. We got a few more verses. And then we're going home. Amen. If you will, join me in 2 Corinthians chapter 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Thank you all for staying with us through the midst of these uh, uh, electronic challenges today. But we're going on in the name of Jesus. Amen. 2 Corinthians 9. Amen. And we want to look at verse 15. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 15. Now a lot of times this verse gets misunderstood. It gets misquoted. Uh, Amen. It definitely uh, gets misrepresented. Uh, Amen. But I want us to read it all together. Come on, ready and read first. 2 Corinthians, verse 9 and, and verse 15. Amen. Come on, let's read it together. Amen. Ready, set, go. Thanks be unto our God, unto God, for his unspeakable gift. Thanks be to who? God. We got to remember to give God a thing. Now, what happened is a lot of people just want to thank those, amen, people, amen, that helped them get to where they got to, and they're really not thankful, but they tell them they are uh, expecting to receive more. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they say they were thankful, but in their hearts, they're not thankful. We have to be thankful, amen, in our hearts also, amen, and, and they say thanks unto God, amen, and this uh, unspeakable gift that don't mean don't speak about it because remember we read right ago where it says let the redeemed of the Lord say so yeah but unspeakable mean it sometimes it can be such a overwhelming blessing that we don't have the words to describe it <laughs> that's what it means by the unspeakable gift say well it's got to be a gift and sometimes yes you might have a gift you want you don't want everybody to know about or a blessing because the devil would start messing when he found out about your blessing. Huh? Did y'all get hear me on that? Can we put that down? The devil would start messing sometime when he hear about your blessing. But the unspeakable gift means that sometimes, amen, we can't describe what all God is to me. Huh? That's why they just say, whoo, just thank you. That's all you can say. You can't put it in a sentence. You're just happy. You're so happy. Amen. You're happy for what God is doing. For others, you happy, but it's hard to explain it sometimes. And that's why sometimes people get cry. That's why sometimes people just wave their hand. Sometimes that's why they hug themselves. Sometimes that's why they take off running. I, I, I don't know how to put it in the words, but, but I can say hallelujah. And God, I want you to know uh, that I appreciate you. And he knows you. He knows our gestures. <laughs> huh? How many know gestures mean a lot? Huh? That that's why it's so important that that, that we use uh, uh, great gestures, amen. I can think of some gestures right now that's not so great, amen. And we who are saved and sanctified, we are not be using them, huh? Especially verbalizing it. No, 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 no. We got to keep blessings flowing from our mouth. Blessings and cursings shouldn't come from the same mouth, amen. That's why we got to challenge ourselves. And sometimes that's why we have to challenge other, amen, so that we uh, uh, will, can represent our thankfulness. God bless you. We're moving on. We're moving on. Good Lord, the time is getting near, amen, about time for us to get out of here. Amen. The bus is coming around the curb. Amen. I'm about to pull up my little stop sign on the side. It's going to pop out. Amen. I saw a bus the other day. It's got one at the back now. <laughs> it used to just be one up there near the driver, but they got one near the back of the bus. It stop. It, it, it's sign to pop out back there and say stop too. Amen. But we want to share with you about this word, about the Lord. Amen. Now, amen. We're going to leave with one verse. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 18. 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 18. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. I see y'all out there coming and y'all are doing wonderful. And thank y'all for keeping up with us today. 
and enduring the technical difficulties. Amen. We had to go for a, a station identification, a technical problem, but we thank you. I want to thank our staff. Amen. And again, Miss Jackie and others who helped us today through this because it takes a team. It takes effort. And I thank you all for being Bible scholars. Amen. For uh, uh, holding on and, and going through this Bible study with us. Amen. First Thessalonians, we're about ready to go. And then we're going to pray. First Thessalonians, amen, chapter 5 and verse 18. I do believe is where it is. Amen. Amen. And we read this verse and went over it a while back. But it's so important. I think we preached about it too prior to Thanksgiving. Uh, but it's so important. Amen. Verse 18. Come on. First Thessalonians. Amen. And everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. It's his will for us to give thanks. Because that's how God gets his publicity. He gets his publicity through his, the witnesses that have been changed. That have been, the one scripture we read earlier that said that it had been redeemed, amen, from the hand of the devil. Huh? That have been saved from foreign lands and different things and, and ungodly situations. And that's something to be thankful about right there. Uh, God bless you. I love you. And I pray uh, that through it all, amen, that you were able to make it, amen, on this Bible study bus today. Uh, we thank you so much for your patience and your understanding through this time of difficulty. Please know, amen, that God, uh, he, he wants us to be thankful. And he wants us uh, to let others know that we're thankful. And when you're thankful, amen, I believe God can bless you more. Because when you appreciate it and show that appreciation, God doesn't mind blessing you more. But when we forget about God and ignore him, amen, and, and instead of ignore him, if we begin and continue to adore him, amen, can somebody put it out there, adore God and not ignore God. Good Lord Almighty. Amen. Good uh, afternoon to you, Charles Henry Ferguson Jones. Amen. Yes, I did say if we can adore God instead of, instead of amen, uh, ignoring God, if we adore him instead of ignoring God, I guarantee you, he'll take care of you. So many bereaved families in our midst we do have in the hospital. Amen. A few uh, pray for them. Amen. That are going through the storm. They're going through the storm. I'm praying for you. Keep the faith. For those who have had surgery, we had Miss Millie Van Lu who had an emergency surgery on last week, recovering, doing well. We're so thankful for you and hope everything's going good for you. And again, to let you know that Keith Allen uh, Jr. Uh, was released from the hospital, glorified the Lord. And Miss Sharon Mueller, Shannon Mueller, Miss Shannon Mueller, the wife of our sheriff, amen, uh, uh, Sheriff Mueller. Amen. I was at home recovering along with Dr. Amen Courtney Mills of the Mice Creek Baptist Church who ended up having surgery and is at home recovering. Praying for you and the moderator emeritus Tony Makelson was in and out of the hospital. So much going on but God is still on the throne. He's going to take care of all of us and all of them. Remember, amen, the uh, uh, families of bereavement, uh, uh, Brother Larry Early, uh, the brother of Deacon uh, uh, Eugene Early, uh, we're praying much for you, uh, Deacon Early, and your family. And uh, again, to Deacon Blanton and his family, his brother Dennis Wilson went home to be with the Lord. His services will be held Saturday, I do believe at 2 o'clock at the St. John Baptist Church there in Gastonia, North Carolina. Uh, Miss Lois McGill Rice, who is the sister of Deaconess uh, um, Inez Dawkins, service, amen, I believe will be held up in the Thomasville area. Uh, today at 2 o'clock, amen, services for Miss Janice Duckett, who is the mother of the pastor, uh, uh, Chuck Duckett, of the Galilee Baptist Church, the Reverend Chuck Duckett. We're praying much for you and your family, and may God bless each of you. Amen. Uh, for Ricky Curtis' family, again, a good friend of mine, like a brother, and uh, we're praying much for you, uh, Reverend B.D. Curtis and Kim, and to the whole Curtis family. His services are scheduled for Friday. Uh, uh, um, receiving friends from 11 to 12 at 12 noon. 
uh, Ricky's funeral will begin there at the Foster's Grove Baptist Church uh, there in Jamestown, North Carolina. We're praying for you. Amen. Again, Dr. Fall, our superintendent, we're still praying for you and the loss of your father on last week. And again, uh, to uh, Dagmar Michaels and to your family. Amen. Uh, the loss of your mother. Amen. Miss Becker over there, Judith Becker, I do believe, in Germany. We're praying much for you, even over there, that God's hand is not too short where he can reach and, and grab you and hold on you. Thank you, Reverend Mackerson. Thank you for being on. I see you there. We love you, man. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. God bless you. And again, we love all of you. And I do have uh, one more, Miss Willie Lee Wells. Uh, Miss Willie Lee Norris Wells, 88 years old, of uh, Washington, D.C., uh, sister of Misty Cora uh, Norris Watts, and went home to be with the Lord. Her funeral is scheduled for uh, Saturday in Alexandria, Virginia. We're praying much for you, all of the family uh, of north, south, east, and west. Please know that called Pastor Bridges and the Concord Baptist Church, uh, along with the Thicket Mountain Baptist Association, we all praying for your uh, comfort and strength uh, and relief, and also to the Buttram family, good friends of, of ours, amen, up there in uh, Nashville, amen, Tennessee, by way of Chattanooga, Tennessee, to Dr. Clayton and to Dr. Clayton uh, Warren and to Miss Cheryl, to the entire family, to Miss Buttram. Uh, we're sorry for your loss. And again, please know. Amen. That if they, I know your father was a believer in Jesus, so he's not lost. Amen. He just gone on before us. So I pray that God will comfort each of you. I love you. Pray ye for one another. Pray for our leaders. There's a lot of things going on with government decisions and with a lot of tragedies all over the world. Let's bow our head. We got something to be thankful for, and we have other things, amen, that we can pray for. Father, thank you for prayer because prayer is the key. Amen. And faith unlocks the door. We have faith now. Believe in God whatsoever we ask you according to your will. God, that you will give it to us. And Father, we pray first of all for all who are recovering from surgeries and those who are in the hospital. God, we also pray for Miss Safis Palmer. God, who's in the hospital getting better. Bless her in a mighty way. We pray, oh God, for Miss, uh, uh, Miss, Miss Smith Weeks. Amen. Miss Catherine Smith Weeks, who was also hospitalized, but, but God, she's getting better. And Father, we thank you for all of these great names we've called. And I pray that some of them are in leadership. And God, I pray that some of them are in fellowship. And I pray, oh God, that you would uh, just allow all of us to be in fellowship with you. Thank you. Thank you. God, we pray for the bereaved families. Their name has already been called. God, and from Greenville to North Carolina to Gaffney to D.C., God, to all over the world. Have mercy upon them and let them know that our God still is able. God, we pray for every church represented here that you will bless them and you will keep them strong. We pray for every preacher, for every leader, God, that's on here to keep them strong. We pray, oh God, for believers and, and maybe those who are going to come to faith right now in the name of Jesus. Save them, God, from the hand of the enemy. God, put them in your mighty hand. So they can experience the good life, the good life of God, the good life of being a believer in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God, we pray now you'll bless our young people as they prepare for these last few weeks of school before Christmas. Bless the teachers, bless the administrators, bless the bus drivers, bless all of those who work in the school system to help our children prepare for a great future. Thank you, God. We pray for safe travel all over this land and country, wherever we go. God, I pray that we take the Lord with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your many blessings. God, I pray even now you will bless those who are less fortunate, that you will bless those, God, organizations who are taking up donations and things to bless people. God, allow them to use them in the right way to be a blessing to those they are taking up for. God, we love you and pray in Jesus' name that you will continue to be our God and we'll continue to be your people. Love you. In Jesus' name, we ask it all. Let everybody say amen. Hmm? Did you say amen? All right. I love you. And don't you forget that. And may God continue to keep you in his mighty hand. Have a beautiful week. Amen. And again, we'll see you on Sunday again at 10, my friend, with the Concord Baptist Church. Amen. Worship 
service. Have a wonderful, wonderful, spectacular, and brilliant and blessed day.